Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We got a good one for you today. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Friday's fight between Oscar Valdez and Liam Wilson. I keep wanting to call him Liam Williams. Liam Wilson. It's a good one today. It's a good one. Uh, before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. The link is in the description. Uh, join the Patreon. Um, let me close this. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, get the lock of the week. Get uh, all the perks. Like I said, lock of the week. Uh, ask the bookie anything. I handicap any fight for you. There's a free T-shirt involved. There's lots of good perks. It's five dollars a month. Uh, join the Patreon. Follow Three Boxing. All form of social media as well. Uh, the boxing book comes for every single major fight. I always use DraftKings. I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, DraftKings. Gives a good book, gives reasonable odds, gives fair odds, and it's, it's user friendly. So make sure to use DraftKings. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. This is an interesting fight. I'm not a fan, really, of either of these guys. I don't think either of these guys, they've had success in varying degrees, but I, I'm not a big fan or supporter of either one of these guys. Um, you know, that's a little bit short. He's got decent movement, decent speed. He likes to be at range. He can move. He, he moves more than, you know, your typical Mexican fighter. Uh, he, he wants to come forward still, but he moves laterally a lot. He, he does some good things. He gets a lot of times and misses. He works behind the gym. There's just nothing really. I, I don't see anything next level about him. He's got good feet. He's at his best coming forward behind the jab. Uh, I want him to stick to the jab. I really like it when he doubles up. He doubles up his left hook well, and he doubles up his right hand well. I want to see a lot of that. I, I, I would say he's got pretty good pop. He does load up a lot. He, he loads up on his shots. I think he telegraphs his shots. I think that's why he, he does get hit a lot. Because he's just, you know, defensively responsible. Uh, he moves, he uses the ring well. He's got a good jab. Uh, so there's a reason why he gets hit. And I, I think because it's, it's, it's he shows his punches quite a bit. Uh, like I said, he moves, he uses the ring. He can get in and out on you. He can jab. He can stand in. I, I really don't think he does anything exceptionally well, which is why I think he really struggles at the high level and, and he struggles with certain fighters. Um, it's too much one shot at a time, but he's got he's really sharp with the short right hand. He's got short right hand, go back and you watch the um uh Navarrete fight and, and uh a couple other fights. <sighs> Why my brain doesn't work right now? He's he's really accurate with the short right hand. He lands it clean, lands it on the button. Um, yeah, I, I don't dislike Valdez at all. I just you know I, I think he's he, I, I think he's limited, and I, I think he's reached out to his his max potential here. And I think that there are guys at the highest level who can beat him. Fortunately for Oscar Valdez, he is not fighting one of those guys in Liam Wilson. Um, I know Liam Wilson had some success with Navarrete. He did drop him. That happened. Um, he's straight up and down. He's a basic guy. Uh, wants to wants to box from the outside. He's going to have the reach advantage. He's, he's, he's slow, though. Um, he's pretty accurate. He's a pretty good sniper from the outside. I, I, I guess low-level guys. He's not going to have a ton of success. He, he measures well behind his jab. Like there, there are things he does well for his level. I don't think he's at the world class level. I, I think Valdez is is, is, is and I understand he had some success in Navarrete. He did get knocked out in that fight. Um, he's pretty slow. Not a lot of head movement. He's not a difficult target to hit if you can get inside on him. And I don't. You know, I, I think Valdez has the better footwork. He's quicker. He can get in at him. I, I don't think it's going to be a massive problem beyond a round or two. Like his head stationary, it's not easy. He's not difficult. He's quite easy to tag. He doesn't have much power. I I understand he's not a hitter. You can go back and you can watch his fights. There's a ton of his fights on Daily Motion. Um, he's not a hitter. He doesn't really even commit to his shots. He can flurry pretty well, but he doesn't do it often. Emotionally, he's he's jab right hand basic guy. Wants to box from the outside. Decent volume. He does throw in combinations. When he does, he, he does it pretty well. He's a good rhythm fighter. You see him get in, in, in his rhythm, but he does it against low-level guys. Like He's going to be disrupted against a guy like Valdez. Valdez is going to disrupt the style. He's going to get in and out, and I think Valdez is going to beat him up. 
he likes to talk patiently. You know, he comes forward, he maintains the distance, and he can keep that, and, and he can play with, and play with distance. And there's a lot of things that he can do. I just don't think he can do it at this level. Um, and, and, and the one time he fought at this level, didn't really go particularly well for him. So let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Um, let's take a look. We're working on uh, some things here. It's the lock. I may have just tipped my hand. Uh, <laughs> the non Patreons uh, on, on one of the two locks of the weeks we're going to do. Oscar Valdez is at minus 400. I'm really confident he wins this fight, so I'm going to make a one and a half times bet. A $100 bet is going to make me $37.50. Um, I'm not real confident. Uh, on the under, I'm not real confident on him winning by decision. I am real confident that he wins the fight. I'm, I'm quite confident he wins the fight. Uh, I don't really see a, a pathway to victory. It could be a stoppage. My hunch is a stoppage. Uh, Valdez by KO, TKO is plus 185. You know, I don't mind putting a smaller bet on that if you wanted to. You know, basically bet the winnings uh, from the money line fight and put the winnings on Valdez by KO, TKO, or DQ. It's not a bad option. I uh, would consider doing something like that. But I really like Valdez on the money line. You make a little bit of money on it, lock in the profits. I don't see a path to victory for Liam Wilson, so I think this is pretty safe. Uh, this may be a part of the lock of the week. You're going to have to find out and join the Patreon for just $5 a month. Join the Patreon get the lock of the week. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I think this is a fairly easy, straightforward fight to, to bet and, and lock in some easy profit. Uh, take Valdez on the money line. Uh, if you want, you can you can put a little on to win by stoppage. I, I think he can get a stoppage. We'll we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but my bet for this is Valdez on the money line. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all from social media. Again, join the Patreon. Link is in the description for just five dollars a month. You get all the perks. Get locked of the week. Get a free T-shirt. You can ask the book anything. Ask me anything. Handicap any fight. I will break it down for you. I will be at this fight. I will be at Valdez. We'll so I'll be there. Uh, for the way and everything like that as well. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. Uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, it is March 26, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay 